Hello everyone, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on plotting using Matplotlib in Python. Now, in this, in this video we'll have a quick look, not a, not a quick look, actually an exhaustive look about all the coloring options that are available in Python that using in Matplotlib. Okay, so to get started with what I have here is I just have a small, I uh, just have a, just a single plot over here. I'm calculating, I'm having x values uh, between uh, minus 2 pi and pi and I'm just plotting sine function over here and this is how we get. The only addition I've made is that, only addition I've made is that I've just drawn two uh, black lines, one vertical and one horizontal indicating x and y axis. That's it. Okay. And now this is the going to be the star plot for today. Now what, because we're going to change up all the colors and look about it. With it. I thought I'd be actually taking this video to cover colors, line style and line width separately and looking at the fact that just colors alone have too many options to be taken care of, I thought I'll just devote this video only for line colors and I'll devote uh, you know, another video for line width and line style and all in another separately. separately. Okay. Now let's go on with the options over here. First of all, we usually uh, usually the colors have a notation like this if you, you just have to use color keyword and then you use the word color option over here and that is it so there is like this is actually a shorthand color notation wherein you just instead of writing the full color name you just write only the small just a shorthand notation so the shorthand notations that are available are like b g r c m y k and w which actually corresponds to blue green red cyan magenta yellow black and white respectively so this is fairly simple right yeah <coughs> actually it is pretty simple to be honest so what you can do is you can just write color equals the small letter word and it will be taken care of on the other hand what you can also do is you can actually write the colors in full standard full hand standard narration like like this like blue like red like yellow you can write them like this and it will work perfectly fine so if i run this right now there we go now the pl uh, plot which was actually in green color now it's in blue color okay we know these two let's look at some of uh, something else different you have the option to specify your rgb values directly so what i mean by that is you know all the colors are composed of red green and blue you can actually make them make make it from that okay you can actually specify the rgb values uh, explicitly and get a get colors out of that so what if for that what you have to do is, is that you just have to write a tuple a three value a three value tuple like this and you just have to pass in the color co color values in terms of uh, fractions so if you just put zero it means that color is absent if you put one it means that full color is present so if i want to write let's say just for an example, if I want to write, if you want to have pure red, let's say, pure red, that is, that can be generated in this computer, I just write 1, 0, 0, and then I get a pure red color. Similarly, if I want a green color, what I have to do is that I just have to put this as 1, and it'll get a green color like this, pure green. And similarly, if I want a blue color, a pure blue color over here, I can run this, and I'll get a pure blue color. Or, or in the usual sense, if I want, uh, you know, black color over here, I just have to put all of them to be zero and it will generate me a pure black plot. Similarly, if I want everything to be one, I mean, if I put everything to be one, I will get a combination of full red, full green and full blue, which is actually white. And you'll get a plot like this, but obviously you won't notice this, um, you won't notice, but if you not, um, you can't see the plot, but if you notice over here, there is an empty spot over here. What, an empty spot in this axis over here indicating the sine curve going up and down anyway you can uh, anyway you can actually play with it play with it so if i were to put a 0 0.1 over here i think now you'll be able to see the color properly there we go now it's pinkish it's pinkish Th this way you can actually specify colors of any value you want and it'll just work it'll work out fine and the thing is the now colors number uh, the indices have to be between 0 and 1 okay that way you can specify any RGB value you want and suppose you find an RGB value like this value like this let's say um, let me just open up uh, this web page there we go suppose you find a color on the internet like which gives you RGB coordinates in 255 uh, like 183 to 20 or 169 if you plug them directly uh, Python will throw an error 
it, because it can it has to the RGB coordinates have to be in uh, uh, between zero and one. So that so if you want if, you, if that is the case, it's uh, it's actually easy to do it. All you have to do is just divide each entry by two fifty five, and that is that will be taken care of. So if my RGB coordinate is uh, coordinate values are one eighty three comma twenty comma one sixty nine. I divide each entry by 255 thereby I normalize it between 0 and 1 and now if I okay let me comment this out and now if I run this there we go I get a da I get a pink plot because this color corresponds to a pink uh, this actually corresponds to a pink scale okay this way I get I can use my RGB coordinates directly also i have the option to use rgba values rgba values like this one over here no the only difference is that i can also set the transparency of the color okay and now by adding more white into it if i put this one that means that uh, it's the color is completely opaque and there is no white in it and i put zero and I, if i put zero the color is fully transparent so you won't see you won't be able to see anything so for this particular value this gives me some kind of something like um, how do I put it a greenish brown color it will give me a greenish brown color okay and now if I were to put this to be uh, fully transparent I what would I get I get nothing I don't get color at all because this is this guy this is fully transparent on the other hand if I were to put it something like 0.5 I get a white and down toned down version of a greenish brown color over here like this i can actually trans change my color color values as per my choice and similarly just like what we saw in the above you can also normalize the colors uh, in, in given in rgb uh, coordinates all you have to do is that you have to divide rgb values by 255 okay because their values are actually with 255 and the transparency value by 100 to get normalize it to one so just keep in mind you just have to if you get a color if you get colors in some other coordinate some other values uh, some other scale like between 255 0 to 255 uh, 0 to uh, 0 to 255 something like that you just have to use the you just have to divide that and normalize it so you can either use 255 uh, 65535 something like that okay whichever value you want whichever based on whichever color you get okay you just have to normalize it and put them up and now if i do this okay this one has a 10 per 10 percent opacity opacity so you'll get a very light color like this okay and now if you're like okay i don't want this what if i just get a color using hex strings like you know um just to give you an idea you see this particular color over here this has it has an rgb coordinates at the same time it has an hexa hexadecimal value over here hexadecimal value over here so this is called as a hex string so if you can I plug this in yes you can absolutely plug this in all you have to do is just in the color option over here you just put within quotes you put hash and then write the write the color just write this in full uh, lowercase i guess i guess you can accommodate uppercase as well just have to see i haven't tried this before oh okay lowercase or uppercase both of them will work okay uh, both cases both are both upper and lower cases lower cases okay both of them will work so we can we, so you can use any any one of them so it will be fine similarly you can also use the rgba hex strings like this that can be both upper and lower strings as well so not a problem let's run give this give this a run there we go it's working fine likewise so if i want to go with some plots which have to be in a grayscale grayscale i can use i can have to plug a value between 0 and 1 suppose i plug something like 0 0.5 this will give me a gray a gr um, let's see what did i do invalid argument okay i think i have to give this in a string now let me run this yeah perfect so uh, this will give me a full this will give me a full gray uh, plot and on the other hand if i were to give uh, let's say 0 I think this will give me a uh, full black and if and uh, like that if I switch between 0 and 1 I can get any shade I can get some shades of gray uh, as per my choice so this is for gray uh, grayscale plots 